Hey, Spider-Man, this should be no. perfect for you. No, come, come. You can just fly down. You can run up and down here ten times, my God. Yeah, let's see. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Fine. Great. Three. Look how cool this is. Hey, Michael, you need a skateboard for this. Look how cool. Wow. That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, it goes way down. Okay, we still have much more of an incline left to go. Let's go. <laughs> Waterfall over here. Super cool. Look, there were leaves up there too. This is the moon trumpet. How's it going today? Good afternoon. I hope you are bringing in the beautiful new year, beautiful, even just a beautiful new day of life. I'm in this garden, this jungle all around. The greenery up here is amazing. We are north of Chiang Mai, about 40 kilometers from where I live. We are in Suan Tun Inn. Just had lunch with my buddy Mark. He made an awesome video. Be sure to check that out. This restaurant is just incredible. It's at the home of the chef. Oh man, yeah, we just finished a great lunch and now we are starting the next round of festivities. Drink some coffee. Luckily there is an abundance of coffee here. Oh, the air is just so perfectly chilly. Exactly the scene that you want. Exactly the environment that you want when it's time for that afternoon cup of coffee. So we got to find the way to the car right now. Just wanted to say hey, Wish you well today. Whew. <laughs> Those steps are steep. So let's go find this coffee shop with the hilarious name. <laughs> I've seen back. it tagged on Instagram and then Mark is like, hey, do you want to check out this coffee shop? Look at this name. I said, oh, I've never actually been up there before. So again, the name of this town is Bong Yang. We are about an hour's drive out of town. See you soon, time to drive. I love this flower. I remember in one of the live streams we did, someone said like, hey, what is up with that flower that's like straight from the Avatar movies? Yeah, it is totally. It almost looks like these would be poisonous barbs to touch, right? Well, here's enough poison to go around. Gorgeous location and we have arrived. Okay, so we made it. We are at WTF Coffee Camp. So by DB, my check that out. Oh, perfect timing! Just blazing greenery right there. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. 4 p.m. It's still coffee time. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy I saw that that move, dude. Those stairs are intense. One of the Yin was laughing with one of the staff, yeah. saying like, "Oh man, it's great coming down, but I don't know about coming up." Hey, Spider-Man, this should be no. perfect for you. No, come, come. You can just fly down. You can run up and down here ten times, my God. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Fine. Great. Three. Go big, go hot wheels. Oh, Kai. Kai. Oh man, look how, look how cool this is. Oh man. So they also have stuff that looks like campsite straight from what I remember in Colorado. I guess it's a little more tropical, <laughs> a little more green. Check that out. Oh, perfect timing. Just blazing greenery right there. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. 4 p.m. It's still coffee time. <laughs> there is a place here already called Rai Gang Sadan, that's the name of the resort. 
and then they opened this absolutely magnificent multi-level campground slash waterfall slash playground building that you can just fall down a hundred meters of hillside all the way to the river and the rocks below. <laughs> okay, I'll stop doing that and just give you the view right now, but enjoy this. Look at this beauty right here. Wow, dude. With one of the staff. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of coffee camping as a concept for an entire restaurant resort? Well, it's not just this place. There are places popping up all over this whole valley. Hundreds, no exaggeration, hundreds of places like this. And they are very high end too. This is not a cheap mission. Um, and look behind, yeah, speaking of mission, that's how it is actually possible. Do you see, they have to just remove all the trees, remove everything, layer everything so nice and neat because the gradient is incredibly steep. It must be so hard to work and bring in heavy machines. So here's one way to do it. Just put the entire structure on stilts, basically. Just make it multi-level, put it all on risers, and that is awesome. But then we are down here in tents at ground level and so the ground it's okay if it's uneven it is kind of like going with that camping feel but if you want to build something like a house or build any of the re these resorts you really have to do a huge project to terraform all the land it is it's incredible and you see it in progress right here there's a team of people working they are first digging and then they're putting down all the seed and then they just have to use a ton of water obviously a ton of water but luckily there's water to spare right here. So this is a pretty smart place to build a resort. And oh man, the location is so, so peaceful. G70. We just got the, the Brazilian bean, which is 12 time zones away. It's cheaper than the, the one that's from that mountain right there. <laughs> Somehow. But I'm sure it's a pretty good cup of coffee in that case. They're really representing the local bean hard. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to I joke with you more off camera. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, look at these crazy prickly. They are as sharp as they look, but thankfully it's also like weirdly soft. It's like sharp and soft. A very weird combination. How pretty though. The whole tree is very pretty. Beautiful. Thank you. I like your shirt. Also, Cartoon Network. Thanks, man. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to coffee camping. We're only getting the best parts. No actual camping. Just the coffee yeah. and the location. Yeah. Thanks, dude. The morning. <laughs> Morning coffee is the best part of camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a spot down here next to the river. Can play. Oh wow, dude. They are not. Dude, this is luxury camping. Is, yeah. yeah, I've camped many years in my life. I've never had gear like this. Oh man, we just sit on the ground. This is beautiful. Is it? Sawalot of Som, right? Like that? Sawalot. Chai, chai, chai. No, absolutely. So the, uh, the prices are different than the local prices, but we are paying for a very unique location and this entire concept, I guess. So for a special, for a treat, it's definitely worth it. The coffee smells incredible too. The staff, they're very cute. And the baked goods actually look awesome, but we're just in it for coffee. Because, as Mark said, coffee is the best part of camping anyways. So why not have, have just the best parts? <laughs> Whenever you want. Cheers, y'all. Oh. Mark, dude, since last year, I've learned a little bit more about Chiang Mai, but we're still coming to pretty much the same places. It's like Chiang Mai is just <laughs> great for like those things. Like getting out into nature, 
doing everything with coffee. coffee. Yeah. More and more local options of just basically those two things. And you were in Qingdao. Yes. Right? Yeah. Exploring a place yeah. I haven't really explored yet. So. Nature is beautiful. And this is cool, actually. A coffee shop that's a very... I don't think... Of course, I've, we've had coffee next to a river. Yeah. But this is an actual coffee shop. That's a tented camp. Yeah, yeah. On the river, which is... It, I thought it might be gimmicky at first, but it's actually nice. And the weather is perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really nice place. So, as I said before, we just had lunch. Be sure to watch Mark's awesome video of our lunch at Suan Tun Inn, which was a beautiful place, a completely unique place. So be sure to watch Mark's video. And thank you for hanging out with us down yeah. here now in this valley. Uh, Actually, tons of names, <laughs> but the funny hashtag that you will notice is WTF co Coffee Camp. Coffee Camp. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, oh, it's awesome to have, as always. We're going to be having some fun the next few days, so keep hanging out, and I hope you're having a great day today. Much love. So, Casa Lupin is the coffee shop, and Mark actually knows this it's in Bangkok. But then when we come up here, there is a new take or like a new brand. I don't know if it's just this coffee shop, but it's the hashtag is WTF, which is kind of funny. And I've noticed that hashtag on coffee. Whenever I search like Chiang Mai coffee hashtags on Instagram, I see this WTF coffee camp. And first of all, what is a coffee camp? This is what it is. And it's it sounds tacky, but when you come here, it's actually amazing. And as Mark just said, the best part of camping is waking up to have coffee or just having coffee anytime. Right now we are having coffee between lunch and dinner, which in this situation is perfect. The weather is perfect. The environment is so beautiful. The lighting is perfect and it matches just great with the natural lighting right here. The sun is just going down and it, oh, it's just so fun. There's a place for Micah to play here on the rocks. Great place for us to sit. Everything is set up just so wonderfully to uh, give you like this new concept that is really taken off in Thailand. Stuff about camping, getting close to nature, but also being very high quality in terms of food, in terms of the coffee itself. It is like very expensive coffee, delicious. Uh, just having all high quality stuff to bring with you into nature. It is a huge concept taken off in Thailand right now. And I absolutely support this and I love it. And I am wanting to uh, start bike tours to take people to places like this and we can have a lot of fun on the way, get into local food on the way, but it's just so great to have a place that is like clean and uh, very easily understandable, all orderly. It's just, you can just get right into your hotel room and it's so nice and clean. And uh, if you do have a little bit more budget than the days when you were a full backpacker or even bike packer and you wanna do the hard bike ride that I like to do, but also in the evening, you want to have like a fancy meal, which I also love to do. So this concept is just, it's kicking off in Thailand, but I also love this concept as well. So, WTF Coffee Camp, cheers. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get to the hotel and now we're going to show you about that dinner end that I was talking about. Lee actually picked, what are we having for dinner tonight? Mugata. Mugata. <laughs> Coffee first, see you in a bit. definitely would not win. It's amazing. It's Mark's fault. For sure Mark's fault. <laughs> That's the power of having a kid. <laughs> 